What's up guys, thank you for joining. Today I'm gonna show you how to create one of the most popular visuals in Power BI. And I'm talking about the waterfall visual. And for this particular case, I'm gonna use the Zebra BI chart in Power BI. So guys, this is gonna be really fun and let's do this. So as you can see here, we have two different tables. We have the cash flow table and we also have the headcount table. So briefly, let me show you what I'm talking about here. So for the cash flow table, we have five different columns. We have the details there and also for the headcount, we have a very similar structure. But let's go back to Excel real quick. So these are the two tables that I'm talking about. So we have the headcount table right here, headcount and also the cash flow table. Like I said, we have five different columns here. What is key here to create this waterfall chart is to have at least these two columns, okay? The period and the headcount flow. So I'm also adding three additional columns here so you can have an idea about how we are getting these results. So as you can see, we have formulas here as a reference. So you have an idea about what is driving this headcount flow for this particular table. And also we need to have an additional column here. I was forgetting in order to sort period by that specific column. And I'm talking about an index column. Ideally, we should have this index column in the source. And for this particular case it should be Excel. But since we already have open Power BI desktop, so we're gonna create the index column. So let's do that real quick. So let's open the Power BI Query Editor real quick. And let's add these index columns, okay? So let's do that. Let's go to add column here and then hit from one, boom. And let's move this to the left. There you go. So we're gonna sort this column, the period column by the index column. We're gonna do something similar for the other table. So we're gonna get another index column here from one and drag this towards the left. Boom. So once we are done, close and apply. Perfect. Data here. And then we're gonna sort this column, the period column, sort by index. So we're gonna do the same here for the other table, the cash flow table. We're gonna sort period by index. So in that way, we can keep the same order. So let's go back to report. And now this is the time folks to start playing with the Zebra BI visual. If you don't have this visual yet, so you have to go over here, get more visuals, and then type here Zebra BI. So here we have different visuals. For this particular case, we're gonna use the Zebra BI charts. Hit this option, once you're done, so that visual should be here and I have it right here already. So I'm gonna hit this option. There you go. So you can have the trial version if you don't have a license yet. And for this particular case, I do have a license. So let's keep playing with this and see what we get, okay? So let's start creating our headcount waterfall real quick. We also have here two different measures. So we have the cash flow balance measure and also the headcount flow measure. So we're gonna use the headcount flow measure, okay? Let's drag this into values. There you go. Perfect. So the next step here is to go over the headcount table and let's look for the period column. So let's drag period into category and let's see what happens, boom. And here, as you can see, we have different options, okay? And this is the power of the Zebra BI charts. Check this out. Hit this arrow, and then you can keep going. And then finally, you can find here the waterfall chart. And this is the one that we're gonna be talking about here, okay? As you can see here, we have all the components for this waterfall. So we have to rearrange them a little bit better. So let's do that. Start, for example, this is the beginning right click on this option and then this should be the result there you go 
and then also the end should be a result right click result there you go this looks so much better and also you can add a title if you want let's go over here title so let's call this headcount at visualization there you go hit enter and that should be good to go aha uh -huh. there you go so you can also increase the font size here text size so we are good now another cool thing about this visual like i said this is a very very flexible visual and that's what i love about this visual the flexibility so you can also customize this a little bit better if you want right click here so you can have something like this for example right or like this you can keep playing here so let's do this for now there you go and also if you click on this option right here so you can change it as you can see now we are seeing that for this particular year we see an increase of about 173 percent the headcount so the company is doing really well based on this flow so let's hit this option and see what happens it's changing 346 more people and then we also have right here the delta in terms of volume 346 and also the percentage as you can see this is really powerful we cannot see this in a native waterfall chart in power bi so good job uh, zebra bi fox and also you can customize the labels if you want because this is headcount you don't want to see decimals you can do that as well let's make sure that you select the visual first go over here so let's go over here to data labels we don't want to see decimals because we are talking about headcount here so that's how it works my friends and also you can keep playing with this if you want check this out so you can increase the line width here if you want this one right here so you can start playing with it so that's the cool thing about this visual that you can customize it to make it more visually attractive uh, for the end user and then the connecting line you can also change the color if you want you can do whatever you want here and this can be dotted or this can be also dashed so you can do whatever you want here you can customize this perfect so we are done with the first example so now let's move on to the next one let's talk about the cash flow balance waterfall chart so this is going to be very similar here so let's hit this option rearrange this a little bit better and then we are ready to start playing with it cash flow so we're going to drag this measure into values there you go and then go over the cash flow table and let's drag period into the category box right here like i said we have different versions here so let's keep going let's keep going let's keep going and this is the one that we care about so check this out the opening balance this should be the result and then the ending balance should be also the result there is another option here another step that for ending balance without fx this should be also the result there you go this looks so much better and you can also play with these options as well if you want right check this out so just the number in dollars here and also the number and the percentage variation very very powerful another cool thing that i wanted to show you is how you can customize this okay so let's go over here and then let's go over i believe it's design custom let's say that you don't like these colors so you can also change them let's go over here so let's select this type of red and also for the positive color how about if i have a different type of color you can do that as well different type of green that's what i mean let's go over here for example and select maybe this one right here i like this one right here and now you can also change the color here the opening balance right click i like gray so gray over there and also gray over here gray over here another cool thing that you can do here is if you go select the visual go over here and go to difference highlight 
So there are a couple of things here that is worth mentioning as well. So check this out. Uh, let's go over one by one real quick. So you can also change the line width here, as you can see. So it's changing. Now you can also change here the arrow style. So round arrow, you can do whatever you want, okay? And then the connecting line as well, you can play with it. How about this one right here? And remember, this is comparing the opening balance, the original balance to the ending balance, okay? Keep that in mind. You can also change here, maybe dashed. So that looks so much better. And also, how about if you wanna see an ellipse here? Boom. So this is working perfectly, my friends. Perfectly, perfectly fine. Another cool thing that I wanted to show you is that you can also customize the title. So check this out. So you can increase the font size here if you want right away. How about 20? There you go. Perhaps you wanna change the font style, Arial Black, and then you can also go over here if you want. You can do that as well. Boom. If you wanna learn how to read this visual, so real quick, we're saying that we started with an opening balance of $2,000 and then we had the withdrawals and also posits, as you can see. And then without FX, we are seeing an ending balance of about $2.7,000. But then we also had the FX impact. So at the end of the day, we are getting only $2,500. So that's how you read this visual. And like I said, this is one of the most popular visuals in Power BI. There you have it, my friends. Waterfall charts are really powerful and I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If so, as always, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe if you don't wanna miss anything. Thank you guys, and see you in my next tutorial.